Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are doing another real estate exam practice question. Today is question 168. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so today's question has to do with mortgages, more specifically, reverse mortgages. So let's take a look. The question states, which of the following consumers would most likely qualify and be able to derive the most benefit from a reverse mortgage? And it gives us four options. A, a young homeowner with a low credit score whose property is free of any encumbrances. B, a young couple who wants to own a house but doesn't have a high enough credit score to qualify yet. C, a middle-aged couple with high credit whose mortgage loan has a higher interest rate than the current rate for new loans, or D, a couple in their late 60s who need to tap their home equity to help cover their expenses but do not want to sell their house. So like always, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, read it over. I know this one is a little bit small because there's a lot of text here. So if you need to re-listen to what I said, feel free. Um, but yeah, so use that time to do that right now before I jump into the answer. All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer. If not, feel free to rewind and listen again or pause and read it over all the good stuff. All right, so what is the answer for this one? Well, it's going to be D, that's right, a couple in their late 60s. So reverse mortgages can provide much needed cash for seniors whose net worth is mostly tied up in the value of their home. In this instance, age does in fact matter because what's interesting is you must be at least 62 years or older to qualify for a reverse mortgage. There is no minimum credit score requirement for a reverse mortgage, primarily because the main thing lenders want to know is whether you can handle the ongoing expenses required to maintain the house. And lenders will, however, look to see if you're delinquent on your federal debt, but uh, you know, you don't really need to know that. But when you do need to look at this question specifically, you need to look at the instances. Uh, obviously, with a reverse, reverse mortgage, if you know that, you know that there's that age requirement. So they have to be 62. Right here it says they're late 60s. We know that that's a possibility. Um, now, obviously, the middle-aged couple, we don't know. You know, middle age is a subjective term. Maybe somebody could be in their late 60s. But realistically, that's not going to be the case. Not to mention, what are they looking for here? It says they have high credit whose mortgage loan has a high interest rate. And the current rate is uh, for, or they want a better rate, essentially. And we'll talk about that in the next video. But yeah, so obviously in that instance, that's not what they need to do. What are they looking for? Well, they need to tap into their home equity. So that by definition is what a reverse mortgage is. And so we know that it would be, uh, you know, answer D essentially. Does that make sense? Hopefully. If not, obviously, I'm here to answer those questions. Feel free to leave them down below. That's going to be it for this question. I, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you guys can pass the exam. No problem. This is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. As always, see you guys next time. Make today magical.